Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ella K. Today we're going to be making banana bread. So one of my friends asked me to make banana bread on my channel, so I'm like, okay, because I was totally out of ideas. For this recipe, we'll make like one loaf of banana bread, and I've never made it before, so we'll see how it goes. So we already have in our one and three fourths cup of all-purpose flour and our half teaspoon of baking soda. Our next ingredient is baking powder and one and a half teaspoons. So I'm just going to use this half teaspoon three times. Okay, I'm just going to mix it. Okay, next ingredient is half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're using Redmond Real Salt, but you can use any salt, like table salt or really anything. I like how this one's pink, but I don't like pink, so I don't know. Okay, now we're moving on to the next step, which is just two bananas and some lemon juice. So first we have to mash the bananas. Okay, here's one banana. Just get to mash it. So the recipe calls for one cup of mashed bananas, but I'm just going to do two bananas because it's probably about the same. I don't know, I've never done this before. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we just preheated our oven to 350 degrees. Okay, next up is one tablespoon of lemon juice. This looks very delicious, as you can tell. Lemon juice and bananas. Yum. Okay, next step is three fourths of a cup of sugar. Next is one fourth cup and then a half of a fourth cup of coconut oil. You can use shortening, but solid coconut oil works just as well. Probably. I'm not actually sure. Okay, and then eighth of a cup. That's, that's basically an eighth of a cup. We're amateurs here, people. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. There's that. Very fun. Just mix it together using the blender that I forgot to use. <laughs> okay, so there's this blender here. Um, kitchen electives thing. We got it a very long time ago. I'm always afraid to use it, to be honest, because I always think it's going to, like, stir everything up. So, we'll see how this goes. This is actually really pretty. It wasn't as scary as I thought. Okay, next is two small eggs. The original recipe, because, you know, we're splitting this in half. The original recipe calls for, like, three eggs. So we just got two small ones. So we'll see how that works. Okay, just whisk it in. Okay, we're just gonna like scrape it and whisk, whisk it again. Okay, so this is three eighths a cup of milk, which is just one fourth cup and half of a fourth of a cup. And here's our flour, you know, which we mentioned earlier. But before I mix it all together, I just want to say, isn't this such a pretty color? It's actually my favorite color, yellow. All the colors in the rainbow had to be yellow. Okay, so we're just going to spoon in a little bit of flour. Pour in a little milk. Apparently you have to do this in like sections, I don't know. Just kind of put it all in. So 
still such a pretty color. And if you guys don't like yellow, then there's the door, so. Okay, so this pan right here is already sprayed. It was handed down from my great-grandma. Very old pan. It is an eight and a half by four and a half by two and five eighths. That's, that's a mouthful. Okay, so since all this is mixed up, now we're just going to get this banana and lemon juice, which looks so appetizing. And we're just going to fold it in to, you know, this stuff. Or escape me. <laughs> and folding is just like, I don't know, it's like folding it into the middle. I'm not exactly sure how to do it. But it's not like stirring how stirring's like this. Folding is just somehow it just goes into the middle, which just makes sense. Okay, thank you, Mom. Mom just showed me how to fold, so great job. So you go under, over, under over and you like turn the bowl and that kind of fun stuff also thank you mom for recording very nice of you usually whenever i record cooking videos i find some books and just put it on top very fun okay you cannot overdo this please don't overdo this okay i'm overdoing it okay <laughs> this should just be like a fake cooking show or something I like that one lady on youtube called it fake cooking show which is very funny, although she's a good cook. So. Uh, okay, now we have a scraper. And we scrape our spoon off. I know this is a big shock. Okay, what? You want it? Oh, mom just licked the spoon. Now we just put it into our, you know, greenest, long numbered bowl thing. What's it called? Pan? That's it. Okay. Wow, that bowl is heavy. <laughs> so we carefully smooth this. You can't like push it down, you know, for some reason. But you can like smooth the top gently. Yeah, that works. There we go. Look at that. This is a nice color. No, it's pretty as earlier though. Okay, so we're gonna put this in our oven on 350 for 40 minutes to one hour. My gosh, that is a long time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we'll see you back in like 40 minutes to an hour. Okay, here's our banana bread 45 minutes later. We stuck a toothpick in it and it came out clean. It has a little bit of a crack on the top, and it's brown, so I mean, it's probably done. It smells really good, and it looks pretty good. So, come back in 10 minutes after letting it cool, and we'll see how it is. Okay, it is cold in the pan for 10 minutes, so now we're just going to get this butter knife and just, like, go around the edge. And make sure that it's not going to stick, because then it would, you know, not exactly work out. That side makes me nervous. Okay, look at that. I'm like, that is really cool. We just made that. Like, how does that even work? I don't even know. But here's the banana bread, and in a little bit, we'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, so the banana bread has been out of the oven for about 30 or 40 minutes, so now we're going to cut it and see what it tastes like. Here it is, it's moist. It's holding together pretty well. Okay, this is actually really good. So you might be able to see that we're actually missing some bread because we've sort of been eating it already. Um, but I recommend putting butter on it, although I probably should have softened it first. But um, if I put butter on it, that just really helps like bring out the flavor and just makes it better. So thank you for making bread with us.